Number SCP-613 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Foundation assets are to monitor all reports of anomalies similar to SCP-613-1 and investigate if necessary. All instances of SCP-613 are to be kept in safe item storage in Research Sector 96. All individuals found to have knowledge of SCP-613 are to be interviewed, dosed with Class B amnesiacs, and released. Instances of SCP-613-1 are to be interviewed upon creation and contained in a climate-controlled environment for observation, experimentation, and research until such time as they cease to be viable due to spoilage. Instances of SCP-613-1 in containment are to be tagged with stickers listing their names and the temperatures at which they rose. Description. SCP-613 is a piece of brand pad paper showing a handwritten recipe for a normal loaf of wheat bread and the words, Wonder Bread Recipe, please refer to this paper for optimum results. There are at present ten instances of SCP-613 in Foundation custody. All instances of SCP-613 are identical. The recipe is completely identical to other common recipes for regular loaves of wheat bread. However, when a loaf of bread is created by a subject who is only following directions from SCP-613 or memory of it without consulting any of their sources, the loaf of bread will become an instance of SCP-613-1. SCP-613-1 are loaves of bread created while following the directions on SCP-613. Instances of SCP-613-1 can vocalize through unknown means and achieve self-locomotion by sliding across and rotating on surfaces, and are capable of sensation and perception of their environment. All instances of SCP-613-1 are fully sapient and have distinct personalities and identities unique from other instances. SCP-613-1 that rise at normal room temperatures will have an average mental states and intelligence is expected of adult human beings. However, instances that rise at non-room temperatures will have chances of developing mental disorders and or increasingly non-average IQ, with greater chances resulting from greater deviation from room temperature. There are currently no identified factors that appear to control whether the IQ will increase or decrease. Instances of SCP-613-1 separated by slicing or tearing, where the mass of the separated segment is greater than 50 grams, will form disparate identities distinct from the parent instance of SCP-613-1. Instances of SCP-613-1 produced in this manner have been observed to engage in erratic movements and vocalizations indicative of physical pain. SCP-613-1 are just as vulnerable to spoilage and other forms of damage as regular loaves, and will lose all anomalous properties when either completely spoiled or destroyed. All instances of SCP-613-1 do not correspond to any individuals listed in any database within Foundation access. D-Class personnel fed instances of SCP-613-1 report a taste virtually identical to normal white bread but often express discomfort at the instances' vocalizations during consumption. Instances of SCP-613 have been sporadically appearing internationally at a rate of once every five to seven months. Operations are ongoing to investigate if there are any individual or organization actively producing or spreading SCP-613. Recovery SCP-613 was first observed during a baking fair in Wisconsin, where one baker was reportedly selling living bread to customers, prompting Mobile Task Force to take action and retrieve the object, interrogate the person producing SCP-613-1, and dose all involved with Class B amnesiacs. Since then, more instances of SCP-613 have appeared internationally in possession of various individuals with avid interest in baking. All individuals in possession of SCP-613 instances have refused to reveal where or how they acquired them, or claim to have no knowledge of such.